Today is National Recycling Day. Joining me on Skype is Jane Maloney, the Executive Director of the Paper Manufacturers Association of South Africa. Jane, thank you for joining us. Now, why don't you start off by telling us why we need a day to shine a light on recycling in South Africa? Okay, well, I actually believe that every single day should be recycling day. But in the same way that last week we had a literacy day because literacy is an issue in the world, I think recycling is also an issue and we need to raise awareness amongst everybody out there as to just how important it is to recycle. Now, in your opinion, do South Africans understand how important it is to recycle? It is terribly low in this country, although we collect um, from a paper perspective, we collect 62% of all the paper that can be recycled, we do actually collect, which is not too bad. Now, you said 5% of South Africans recycle. What does this mean for our environment? Well, because so few people recycle, it means that a lot of paper is actually going to landfill. And if more people recycled, for every, for every um, ton of paper that you recycle, you would be saving three tons of landfill space. And as you and I both know, the world is finite, so landfill space is definitely finite. Um, yeah, so we, we have limited capability in this world to absorb waste, which is why we need to, we need to learn to reuse it and to recycle it. Now, what are some different options people have when it comes to recycling and reusing paper and plastic? Okay, um, different options for recycling. You know, in this country we do have some um, curbside collection and you can put your, your recyclables outside, but that's limited. Mostly you have to actually decide to take your, your paper and your recyclables to uh, a depot where you can then drop it off. So it's not simple and easy to recycle in South Africa. So do we need to make recycling easier and more accessible to people in South Africa? Yes, um, I think that's a very important part. And the biggest challenge is infrastructure. To develop infrastructure is incredibly expensive. Um, we have partnerships with municipalities and that works quite well. Um, I believe that you are from Canada and that in Canada um, recycling is easy and free. But I was looking up and you have, originally you had like blue box recycling system. Essentially it seems free but you actually are paying for it through something called extended producer price responsibility. They are looking at introducing something like this in this country. There's legislation pending around that at the moment. Do you think that will work in South Africa? Um, I think that as the packaging industry takes responsibility for packaging and as us in the paper, the paper industry, we need every single drop of paper that we can lay our hands on. I think that imperative will mean that it, it, it will begin to work. Um, and there will be funding which can then be put towards more efficient recycling, um, that sort of thing. I think what won't work is having bins that are weighed um, at the home, you know, so that the, the municipality guys that come and pick up your waste paper, um, if they try to charge homes for that, I suspect that your neighbours, because apparently this even happens in Europe, I suspect that they would just come and load your bin with some of their waste rather than pay 